many passageways that make these things operate. Turns out, if you use our regular universal ATF in a new Ford transmission, you won't notice any difference hardly at all. You really won't. And the reason you get away with it is because when you put regular petroleum in there that starts at uh, 7.5, which is probably going to just get by in the system, in about 10,000 miles it'll be an 8.5 because it'll be changing viscosity with temperature and oxidizing that fast in the transmission. So what they're doing is making sure you start low enough in the band that it'll go 30,000 miles before it would get too thick. We've already had some guys made mistakes and put in this universal ATF in some of these new vehicles and they never knew the difference. And that's because ours just does not break down and it doesn't get thick. So if they change it and it stays at 7.5, that's not a problem. But that petroleum fluid will start oxidizing. See that picture down there? The 300 hours for petroleum and 600 hours for AMSOIL? AMSOIL just keeps going actually out to about 900 hours before it hits the end of the test. But they, they stop it there for their own purposes. But what you've got is what's failing the petroleum is it's oxidizing due to temperature during that period. And if you raise the temperature of that product outside the 195 degree testing temperature, raise it up to 205, that red line will be cut to about one third where the AMSO line will stay right where it is. So the temperature is a killer for transmission fluids. Okay? So let's just back up for a second and, and talk about transmission fluid and what AMSO has for products and let me give you kind of a quick brief. We've got Universal ATF, fits Mercon, Dexron, Chrysler ATF Plus 4 and a whole bunch of other vehicles. Okay? It's on the data bulletin. It shows all these different applications. Okay? There's also a technical service bulletin on the website that if you go to it on transmission fluids and they kind of keep updating it about every four to six months. It's not only got the applications that they say you can use it for, it's got some they say you can't use it for. And the typical one it says you can't use it for is constant velocity transmissions. We do not have a fluid for constant, CVT is the short term. We have no CVT fluid. So if somebody asks you, I need some CVT fluid for this Honda, you go, well, go to Honda. It's probably the only place you're going to find it. Okay, now, I asked Amsoil about that and they said, hey, it's not clear to us that Honda is going to produce enough CVT transmissions in the United States for us to bother to put together a product. They stick around and start expanding that transmission into more things and maybe they'll go look at making a product for that, but it's not worth our time to mess with it, okay? All right, so when you look, they'll ask you a lot of times, people will call you up and they'll say, I gotta get Chrysler ATF plus four. Okay, fine, Universal ATF. Oh, I, I have a Dextron 3G or 3H or some other 3GE or uh, Universal ATF. Calls up and says, you know, I got one of these new Chevys. I have Dextron 6 in here. Have you got something that'll suit my purposes? Yep, the new, Merc, the new transmission fluid that we've got low viscosity, okay? Ford SP fluid. That was a problem for us over the past couple of years. That's met by the new transmission fluid. If you hit this Toyota WS spec, that's the new one because it's thinner, okay? We couldn't meet that one until the new fluid came out. We weren't able to sell that. We were able to sell the Toyota Type 4, which was pretty rugged stuff, but the viscosity changed for the WS spec. Now there's a bunch of Nissan transmissions, they almost all fall into this category. Okay? They're not yet low viscosity. Uh, regular Honda transmission fluid is typically the universal ATF, it's not low viscosity. Uh, Honda likes transmissions to shift harder and last longer. Because when you get transmission shifting real soft, it means you're actually allowing those clutch spades to, to spin more until they finally come into sync and lock up. And the deal is, is that every time they have that bit of turning, you're wasting a little of the clutch face. So Honda says, nope, we want it to go bang, stick together. Well, we used to do that in the Ford, what do they call those, Hydromatics? Yeah. That was the original, Ford Hydromatic or Turbomatic, or is that the Chevy? Anyway, Turbomatics, Hydromatics, and Hydroglide, and Dynaglide, and all kinds of things. But those clutches were bang, stick it, and don't slip, okay? So when the original Type F transmission fluid, we'll get calls for that for guys running drag cars. That's what our super shift transmission fluid is. It's nothing but Type F rated transmission fluid. Type F is the old Ford style. When those clutch plates hit, they ain't supposed to have no slip. Let's grab and bark the tires and head down the road. Well, if you've got a dragster, you don't want any slippage there. You want those tires barking and burning and heading down the strip. So that's super shift. And let's see, um, the torque drive was made specifically for Allison transmissions. 
Now, Allison uses some ratings, including some things called C3 and C4. They're rated for that. There's a couple of specs that you're going to see for Allison, which is called TES specs. They're um, technical engineering specs, TES, for Castrol came out with these. TES 295 and TES 387. The torque drive transmission fluid meets both of those, but guess what? They recently put out, so does the Universal ATF. So, uh, and there's a reason they kind of put that in there, because it always did, the Universal ATF, but we made that torque drive to battle with Castrol over this Allison transmission, specifically. But if you look at a new Chevy Duramax pickup, Allison. it's got an Allison transmission there and it tells you to use Dexron 6 fluid, okay? But it should be a Dexron 6 fluid that meets TES 387 or TES 295. 295 was superseded by 387, so you might see both. So the point is, Amazon did a good thing there for us because they stuck that spec on there so that we know it meets it because our Dexron 6 also meets the Allison transmission requirement. So anyway, if you look at it, GM says use the Dexron 6. By golly, we got the Dexron 6. But as soon as you go to Allison and tell them that you want to buy a three-year extended warranty on your Allison transmission, they'll tell you it has to meet TES 295 or TES 387. <laughs> so isn't that kind of funny that GM's warranting it for three years or whatever on this fluid, but Allison, who made the transmission, says, oh, you want us to put our money to back it? Then it's got to meet this spec. So <laughs> just a quirk, I guess, in the system.